What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae, the first back again for another video. As you guys can see, we got that Jujutsu Kaisen, alright? The manga, you know what I'm saying? So I was trying to think, like, if I wanted to, um, you know, if I wanted to do a reaction to it um, while I was reading it, but I ended up reading it already, and then so I'd rather just do the review now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's the first Jujutsu Kaisen review, uh, reaction, not really, well, I guess you could call it that, you know what I'm saying, but I'm not reading it, like, right now, I already read it, but, uh, yeah, I caught up with Jujutsu Kaisen, I started reading last Friday, and I finished on Sunday, and that shit was some gas, alright, man, like, whew, all of the arcs were, like, 8.5, 9s, and 10s. Like, it was nothing below 8.5 and none of these arcs. The Kyoto Sister Exchange event, it was, it was like, 8.5, I'd say. Um, what else? Uh, after that, it got the the, the brothers, uh, Chozo, Chozo's brothers. Um, that was a pretty cool arc, too. I'd say it was about 8.5 or something like that. And then we got Gojo's flashback. That shit was a 9. Uh... Uh, shoot, it probably was a ten. I probably I call that well. It was, it was between a nine and a ten. And then we got um, what you call it? Uh, the prequel, uh, tap the volume zero stuff. Also a nine to ten. And Shibuya arc, I got that as a ten. It was too much gas. You know what I'm saying? The fights were great. The art was great. The detail, the the um, just the whole like how the pacing of it, the stories and bringing in you know new characters and all that and whatnot. It was just insane. Um. Shit, it sound like I'm just doing a, uh, a Jujutsu Kaisen review video. But, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Like, Jujutsu Kaisen is just... It, it's just... It's gas. It's the it's the best Shonen... It's the best Shonen Jump right now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I started reading. Because it, it got all the hype that I've been seeing it online. It got all the hype. Uh, I, I disagree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so this last chapter, chapter 137, we got, uh, the boy Yuta came back. So, somebody that was been for the anime only, so you guys shouldn't be watching this video. But, just to put it out there, um, you know, we already know Yuta. He was basically been, uh, hinted at for a long time in the series as early as, hmm, in the anime. I forget what episode, but I can remember one of the earliest ones was, um, episode 8 when, uh, Gojo was talking to the principal of, uh, of Kyoto. He was, uh, mentioning, um, uh, Toto, uh, Yuta, and Hakari, but, um, yeah, so he's, but he's actually been hinted at even before that. I just couldn't remember exactly what episode. I just remember, you know, from the last that I can, that I can remember. But anyway, Yuta came in, he saved his little girl that was, um, that a cur it was a curse that was near her in the store, um, trying to lure her in, and he ended up helping her, he saved her, and whatnot. So, uh, the boy Yuta's back, and this is taking place right after the whole Shibuya arc. So, we're in a new arc now, confirmed. Um, what else? We got the uh, Jujutsu, uh, basically the, the Jujutsu headquarters. They're basically um, trying to uh, evacuate all the people that's, that lives in um like in uh, those areas in Japan and all those different cities, they named some cities. I couldn't, um, I can't remember. I mean, shit, I can barely even pronounce the names, but you already know it was, it was a lot of names of cities. And they said that they tried to evacuate about like five million people, I think. And I think there's about ten million curses that are out, or something like that, right? Or is it ten million people in the area and they can only evacuate five? Something like that. Either way, I think on both ends, it's a lot of people, millions of people, obviously. And on the other end, there's a um. Uh, uh, millions of curses that been brought out by uh, Ghetto or AKA the Brain, you know, the uh, Noritoshi Kamo, the OG. So, and that was that was also really dope too. You know, I might end up talking about all the Shibuya arc stuff uh, eventually, uh, maybe within this week, like this this uh, upcoming week, I might end up doing something like that. But um, yeah, uh, it, it was just pure gas, man. Like, I mean, who this chapter and the whole arc is just gas. But, uh, later on, we ended up, um, wh where did we go after that? Uh, um, we seen Yuta, and we seen, because after that, uh, that one page when I was talking about the, uh, Jujutsu headquarters, and they were talking about all the stuff that they needed to do, the evacuations and whatnot, um, that page took hella long to read in, in comparison to everything else that came in after, but, uh, so, yeah, it was basically Yuta, you know, give, giving us our boy Yuta back, um, the hype for him. And then we transitioned to him basically uh, uh, learning that uh, Inumaki lost his arm and 
basically pointing the finger at Yuji, which is interesting. I don't know if this is some kind of ploy or something on his end or because of the um, Jujutsu headquarters. I'm, I'm not sure how much that he knows of all of the situation that's at hand, but um, he, he knew that Inamaki lost his arm, which was, I believe it was... Um, during like uh, Sukuna's domain, right when he had first, when he had came out, so yeah, he's kind of it's like he's putting the blame on Yuji, and then later on in the chapter, the last bits that we got was um, uh, oh no, no, before I say that, it's interesting that uh, what's uh, Rika had ended up showing up again because if you read Volume Zero, um, Rika basically like, I guess like went went to rest like you know because she was the cur she was cursed by Yuta, but um. She, I remember she like disappeared or dispersed or whatever, you know, like I said, went to rest. Um, but she, he still has her. So I'm assuming that maybe he can manipulate or create versions of her or, or um, basically summon her again, I'm guessing, because he has immense power and curse energy. He's like, shit, he's up there with Gojo. Of course, Gojo's the strongest, but he's somewhere along them lines where Gojo is. So... Is uh is all is it really interesting to see uh all the stuff that he can do? Cause I'm not even a hundred percent sure of all of his abilities, um. So I I can't wait until like we you know get to see more of Yuta or maybe even stuff that he developed over time since he's been away as well. But um, but yeah. Now let me get to the last bit of the chapter, which was crazy. All right. So Jujutsu headquarters, they basically were telling uh Yuta to go out and well, okay. So there's five different um statements that were made that that needed to things that needed to be done or, or things that was prohibited um so the first thing i believe was um that uh ghetto was going to be sentenced to death again well not really ghetto but the brain like i said noritoshi kamo so he's going to be put on a death penalty and then the second thing was um if you try to reveal gojo because gojo is basically exiled from the jujutsu world basically now and Jujutsu Tech. So basically, if you try to um, reveal and um, unleash Gojo from that prison realm thing, then you will be then that will be counted as a criminal act against you. So I'm assuming maybe a death penalty or maybe you get put into jail. They throw the key away or something like that. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the second thing. It's crazy. So if any of them try to go get Gojo out, it's gonna be some trouble, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. The third thing was that uh, principle of uh, of um. Our principal at Tokyo, um, Yaga, they said that since he has some kind of, um, basically he's in association with the whole Gojo and, and, um, and, um, um, Ghetto, uh, with the incident in Shibuya, so basically he's going to be put on the death penalty too, I believe, that's what they said, so he's in big trouble as well. The fourth thing was that, uh, Yuji, I believe he's, um, suspended as well or something like that. And then the fifth thing was for uh, Yuta to kill Yuji because, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, wow. So I wonder if, like I said earlier, I wonder if Yuta's trying to, like, if he, like, pretty much understands all the things that's going on and, like, he's just kind of, like, playing along with the, um, with Jujutsu headquarters or is he, like, genuinely, like, going to kill him because that's his job? Or is he, like, genuinely going to kill him because of um, what happened to Inomaki and just basically uh, um, him being Sukuna's vessel and all that? Like, he has, like, a grudge against that and, you know, hurt his friend, Uno, his homeboy, Inomaki. But, so, out of those three things, I mean, any of those can happen. But I kind of feel like, because Yuta is a good character, of course. We've already seen that. So, I'm assuming that maybe he is... Um, uh, uh, just kind of going along with the headquarters and he doesn't actually believe what's going on because he has to have known something, right? I believe, um, I don't know if it was, okay, so like, I know in the anime, cause, um, from what I remember, I believe, well, based off of Gojo's abilities, right? I believe he probably has been visiting Yuta, you know what I'm saying? Like, he probably talked to him before, because that makes a lot of sense to tell him about everything that's going on, because the whole Sukuna vessel thing is crazy. You have to let somebody like him know. And plus, if you have the Jujutsu tech and headquarters um, in general, basically against Gojo, and Gojo, you know, he wanted to kill the higher else because they just, how they do things is just so fucked, you know what I'm saying? So, like, basically... I would assume that he would want um, um, Yuta and Hakari, you know, to be on his side, um, 
just in case they need to overthrow or anything like that. And just to keep them up to date of what's going on in the school and stuff. And I'm sure he probably contacted other Jujutsu Sorcerers in different areas as well. So, yeah, I, I just really, I don't know. I just wonder how this is all going to go down. Obviously, everybody else is. Can't wait for the next chapter to see the aftermath of, like, well, we've kind of already seen the aftermath in a way. But, like, you know, the aftermath of all the people that are in, you know, that participate in this whole incident on both ends. It's just crazy how many people died, man. Like I said, uh, I might, like I said, I might do a whole uh, Shibuya arc uh, incident like review once I like. I might just kind of reread a little bit and look at certain points and stuff, and you know, come back or maybe I do like a video with somebody else. Who knows? But uh, I'm gonna do a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen content and content in general. Like I said, I'm happy I got a new setup, got a new computer, a camera, and all that. So I'm gonna be editing. Like I said, I was editing on my phone and stuff all the time, and recording on the phone, too, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, but, damn, I, hit, I know I hit my computer, I know y'all heard that, but, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, so, that's about all I got for uh, this chapter review, slash Jujutsu Kaisen review, <laughs> but, uh, if you guys want, like I said, if you guys want to see more videos, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see with Jujutsu Kaisen or more stuff, but, yeah, without further ado, I hope you guys have a safe, uh, uh, Damn, I almost fucked up my intro. I hope you guys have a good one. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay clean. See you guys in the next video. Peace.